Hi, I'm Donnie Tover, and I'm going to be doing a demonstration for you today on 9.5 pH alkaline water and also 11.5 pH alkaline water. So let's get started. Okay, for this first demonstration, what I'm going to do is show you the ORP rating or oxygen reduction potential. And what that means is, is if you have a positive number, something increases in oxidation and if you have a negative number of course it decreases in oxidation and what I have here just a, a few common everyday bottled products that people drink every day and this first one here is Nestle Pure Life I know you can't see it behind that cup it's kind of a small bottle so that's what that is second one is Dizani the next one is vitamin water and the next one is Sprite and as you can see, I haven't opened these. They're sealed, so you, I haven't tampered with them in any way. So I'll go ahead and pour these. This is the Nestle Pure Life. This is the Dizani. We have vitamin water. And then in this one here, I'm going to put just regular tap water. Okay, and in this last one, this is going to be 9.5 pH alkaline water. So let's go ahead and get started. And this first one, Nestle Pure Life, right around 230 for an ORP rating. Okay. And Dizani, about 280, still going up a little bit, 285. 285 on that one. Hope you guys can see this okay. And the vitamin water. Right around 245, going down a little bit. Right around 235, right around 230. Okay. And the Sprite, 250, 260, around 260. Okay, now let's do the tap water. Right around 200, 196, 197. Right in there, okay. And the 9.5 pH water. Negative 400, climbing. Negative 480, negative 490, and still climbing a little bit. So, as you can see, the 9.5 pH alkaline water has a very high negative oxygen reduction potential over 500 now okay let's move this stuff out of the way and then for the next demonstration going to put a couple of drops in each of these. Okay. And we'll 
stir these up. Okay, now this first one, Nestle Pure Life, you can see that it's almost neutral. Okay, the Dizani, acidic. Okay, vitamin water, very acidic. Sprite, also very acidic. Tap water, uh, it's right around neutral, and 9.5 pH alkaline water, you can see it's very alkaline. Okay, now if we take, and just take a little bit of this and pour into the Nestle, you can see we can change that to Dizani, change that one too, tap water, change that one, and, but notice here on the vitamin water, no change, and the Sprite as well, and what I'll do is just take this that I already have poured, and I'll show you I can fill this up and not change that one. That's how acidic vitamin water is. And also Sprite. Let's see that there's no change. We can turn these again. Tap water. Okay, for this next demonstration, what I'm going to show you is 11.5 pH alkaline water, very alkaline, and just want to show you its ability to dissolve oil. This is um, extra virgin olive oil that I have. Pour some in this one, pour some in this one. Okay. Now, in this first one, what I'm going to do is put some regular tap water and what happens exactly what you'd expect the oil and water separate because oil and water don't mix okay and the second one here I will put 11.5 pH alkaline water and look what happens it just emulsifies the oil see it just dissolved the oil in the water okay in this demonstration what I'm going to do is show you the ability of 9.5 pH alkaline water to um, extract flavor and what I have here is um, a pack of green tea but what I'm going to do first is I'm going to add tap water to every other glass here. Okay. And I'm going to add 9.5 pH alkaline water to the other glasses. green tea here and keep in mind this is cold water it's not warm water at all so this is just cold tap water and see what happens nothing so we go over to the 9.5 pH alkaline water and 
makes tea. So it's extracting that flavor and we'll put it back in tap water again. As you can see, it doesn't extract anything. Back in the 9.5 pH water. And it's making tea again. Tap water one more time. No tea. 9.5 pH alkaline water. Making tea again. And I know I don't have the best lighting in here. So you may not be able to see it real good. So I got a little light background here. I was going to move across here so you can see every other one made tea. And as you can see, the tap water did not. But the 9.5 did. Now I know I wasn't as good as Billy or Vince off the infomercials on TV, but I hope you found these demonstrations interesting and if you would like more information or if you'd like to try the water or have any questions about the water, uh, please contact myself or contact the person that gave you the DVD and we'll be more than happy to set you up with some water and answer any questions that you might have.